A new addition to the Newport Aquarium is not for the faint of heart. It's the only suspension bridge in North America on which visitors can walk above two dozen lurking sharks. Local 12's Brad Underwood is live in Newport with a preview for us. Brad? How about this job today, Rob? Bad, yeah. They want to walk across this, don't they? But yeah, we are talking about the world's first, uh, another first here at the Newport Aquarium, just one of the many attractions here. This is the 75-foot bridge across this tank full of more than two dozen sharks if you dare to cross the shark bridge uh it does open tomorrow at 10 a.m for people who come to uh the aquarium here and we're going to walk backwards to kind of show you this v-shaped nylon rope bridge here inside the aquarium i don't know about eight inches uh, across this woven nylon rope several layers of rope as well as uh, another net underneath something that you would almost see uh, at king's island under some of those roller coasters to catch things that might fall out of people's pockets here but as you walk across this thing rob it, it is a little wobbly you've got places to hold on to but i mean you are you are inches above this massive 350,000 gallon tank full of more than two dozen sharks again just this another attribute of the aquarium makes this place just so cool when you come here to visit it is very cool. We have over four miles of rope, nylon rope, woven together to create this V-shaped 75-foot rope bridge that goes over the 385,000 gallons surrounded by Shark's Exhibit. That was Rick Urban, and he was telling me something about this rope. He says cut-proof rope. They had to, to burn it to actually cut it off when they were making this V-shaped bridge here that does go from one end all the way to the other of the shark tank. And this is the last thing that you get to see here when you do come to the aquarium. You'll come up the escalators, and this is the last exhibit people have been able to, to walk and look at the sharks from this angle. You can also see them from underneath. But now you do have the opportunity before you leave the museum to literally walk across the shark tank here at the Newport Aquarium. Rob? Are the sharks in the tank yet? Oh, yeah, they're in there. Are There's they? a more than two dozen. Uh, we've seen some hammerhead sharks. Uh, they've got the, uh, the shark rays. Again, uh, more than two dozen sharks are already in here. They just had dinner earlier. They had shrimp for dinner, uh, and one of them eats lobster. So they eat pretty well here, too. Hedrick says they There's can jump, turtle. so it's, it's not all that safe. And this is the, the bridge you don't want to be on with Hedrick because he's that kid who would jump up and down the whole time you're on it, you know. <laughs> Does it feel safe? Well, and they did that <laughs> testing, you know. They, they did that kind of testing. You know, you got to think, what, what are kids going to do? They're going to try to run up on here. They're going to try to shake this thing. And yeah. It's very sturdy, so not going to happen here. All right, keep walking backwards, Brad. We'll, uh, maybe we'll see you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so later this spring, the aquarium uh, will unveil Canyon Falls, which will be uh, home <laughs> to um, new otter exhibits. You know, one time this television station sent me to swim with sharks. <laughs> There was a message in there, yeah, I think. I, I believe there was a message you, in there. You made it, though. Yeah, I came back. They were surprised <laughs> when I showed up on Monday.